It is clear that snakes evolved from lizards. Lizards precede snakes in the fossil record by hundreds of millions of years. And uh, snakes are anatomically similar to lizards, being classified in the same order, squamata. And the early snakes retained vestiges of legs. That being said, there are different models on how snakes evolved from lizards and how fossil snakes fit into the modern taxonomic groups of snakes. For example, it was originally thought that the aquatic lizards, the mosasaurs, which adapted to a marine life, were ancestral to snakes, given that they greatly elongated their body and reduced their legs and that some of the fossil snakes, such as Pachyrhachis, Hasiophis, and Podophis, are marine snakes. Tetrapodophis is a fossil snake, which is slightly older, and it retains uh, vestiges of its forelegs, the only known snake which has all four limbs. Instead of being adapted for an aquatic lifestyle, it seems to be adapted for a terrestrial burrowing lifestyle, as do some other Cretaceous fossil snakes. This is significant because one of the two infraorders of modern snakes, the more primitive of the two, is adapted for a burrowing lifestyle. And so it is possible then that the earliest snakes were burrowing uh, animals and that the uh, modern infraorder Scolecophidia is uh, derived from this ancestral burrowing lifestyle. If this is true, then those uh, marine forms would not be the ancestral forms, but a more derived group of snakes perhaps belonging to an extinct family within the infraorder Alethinophidia. There are some snakes, including Coniophis, with its lizard-like anatomy in its head, which is uh, terrestrial, and Najash, uh, which possess legs, which are clearly primitive snakes which cannot be assigned to a modern infraorder. But where exactly should they be classified? Some classify them as so primitive that they are not snakes in the suborder Serpentes, but rather a transitional group um, known as Ophidia. Others feel that they should be classified within the suborder Serpentes, but um, perhaps as a basal uh, group not within uh, the infraorders, or perhaps a little uh, more closely related to uh, the infraorder Alethinophidia uh, than uh, the more primitive Scolecophidia. Some fossil snakes are grouped together in fossil families of snakes which have not survived to the modern day, and two are known which span the Cretaceous period through the early Cenozoic. Some have considered these as families within the infraorder Alethinophidia, while some taxonomists have classified them as being more primitive. This includes Gigantophis, which was at least 7 meters in length, and since it was originally thought to be 10 meters in length, was the largest known snake until Titanoboa was discovered. There are boas known in the fossil record, including Boavis of North America, and Titanoboa, which at more than 12 meters was the largest snake to ever have existed in the Paleocene of South America. These are only known since the Cenozoic era began, after the extinction of the dinosaurs. Likewise, there are fossil vipers and colubrid snakes that are only known since the Cenozoic began. And so it seems that the diversification of the families which represent 
the vast majority or perhaps even all of modern snakes has begun since the extinction at the end of the Mesozoic era.